Uh, my driving force as a researcher is um, is my curiosity. I want to know how things work. I want to understand how nature works and how nature has formed different organisms. The most exciting part about being a researcher is that I, I get to work in a team with brilliant people and we all have the same goal to try to understand how something that we see actually works, what's the mechanism behind what we see. And then we come together with different uh, knowledge and we try to solve that question. The aim with my research is to understand how insects control their flight. So how can they actually avoid obstacles if they uh, encounter them while flying? And we're looking mostly at the visual aspects. So we try to understand how they use their eyes in order to fly safely. Well, we could technically use any insect because the beauty with the insects is that they have um, a small brain, so they can't take they can't um, take care of all the information that is around them. So they need to filter the world and only extract the very very important information for what they want to do. And bumblebees are an excellent animal to work with in the lab. Well, the, the, you, you, we can buy them. We, we call up and we get them actually delivered in a box. So we get them in the mail and uh, so we have a good supply of bumblebees and we can also train them to do virtually anything we want them to do. Well, the usefulness is both understanding how insects have evolved in order to be able to fly, but also so that we can use uh, what they have evolved to be able to do for our flying vehicles, for example, small uh, robots that can fly on their own. And uh, if we can copy what the insects are doing, we can then have very, very small control systems for these flying robots. There are flying robots, uh, but if you let them go and let them fly on their own, they have a problem to control things that they can collide with. For example, a dove or uh, some garbage that comes flying in air. So we don't really uh, dare to actually let them go in a city environment, for example, because they are very likely to crash. We went to South Africa in 2003 and we were standing there when the moon was up and we had a polarization filter to artificially switch the polarization pattern in the sky. And if, if the beetles changed direction, that would prove that they were using the polarization pattern in the sky. We were five people but only I could see what was happening because I was holding an infrared camera. So I saw the beetle coming in under the filter and I saw it turning, so I said, it turns, it turns. And it was one of those great moments where we actually, we came with a question and we found an answer.